All right, y'all, welcome to my first Camp NaNoWriMo vlog. It is currently day eight, and I have accomplished absolutely nothing. I mean, nothing, nada, zip. I have been basically, sorry, I'm walking Teddy, and he's being very stubborn right now. No, Teddy, this way. This way, no, 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 you can't go in there. So I have basically been stewing about my characters and my plot for the past, oh gosh, 72 hours now since Friday when I said I was going to start and I have been struggling to plot. It hasn't been 100% successful, but you know, what can you do? So basically the issue is that I want to write your just normal, ordinary, run of the mill, new adult college romance. It's something that I love reading and I've always wanted to try writing without much success, by the way. Um, but I'm struggling like hell not to add some type of fantastical element to my work. I'm struggling not to add any vampires, werewolves, um, aliens. I'm trying to make it on Earth in present day time and not in the past or in some futuristic world or dimension. And you know, it's a lot easier for me to make up things with world building and just to make up these fantastical elements. Study, uh, study. Teddy and I are in a power struggle right now. So just to write your ordinary run-of-the-mill everyday college new adult romance has been very difficult, but I will persevere. This is something I want to learn how to do is just write contemporary and do it without adding anything too outlandish and, you know, fantasy-esque or science fiction-esque to it. Teddy, you cannot go over there. Pause. This is an epic power struggle, folks. Epic. Anyways, continuing on, I will tell you guys more about my story, or at least what I have so far, and the new software that I found to help me write my story in part two of this vlog, which will commence very shortly after we finish this walk and we go back inside. I will tell you guys as much as I know so far, and hopefully that will help me to get my juices flowing. A lot of times when I start actually talking out loud, things start to get rumbling up in that old brain and that starts, you know, a uh, full on writing process in some ways and that frees up, you know, some words flowing. So I'm hoping that, you know, talking to you guys about my story and my plot and what I have so far will do that and basically inspire me. I forgot how awkward it is vlogging outside, even though there's really no one around me. It's just weird okay so I guess I will catch up with you guys later in the sit down portion of this vlog in just a few minutes or in, in literally just like a second for y'all alrighty bye there we go All right, guys, happy NaNoWriMo day 15. No writing has been done quite yet, but I just thought I would pop up here and talk to you guys about my novel and what's going on. Now, I will admit that my novel has taken a bit of a turn and there has, has been a major, major change. And that was part of the reason why in the first vlog, I didn't really wanna to talk to you guys about my male protagonist because I was still trying to figure things out with him, still trying to figure out his backstory. And the story just felt, felt stale. It felt very dead, but I have had an epiphany and there's another story idea. That's okay. There was another story idea that I was contemplating and that I have been contemplating for months, but I haven't had the guts to start writing the story. And so that story idea has just stayed floating around in my mind and in my head. And the huge epiphany I had and the huge change that's occurred is basically I have now merged that story idea and this story idea into one. And I think it's gonna make the story a lot better. Sorry, I keep looking around. I just am not used to vlogging in public even though this isn't really public, I'm sitting in a car, but it's still kind of public because people are staring at me. But anyways, that story idea that I didn't really have the guts to write was a story idea that was heavily influenced by music. I had this story idea to write a kind of a love story, an ode to rap music. And at first I just kind of wanted to write an ode to music in general. And then what came to me was rap music. And 
I'm a huge fan of poetry, of rhymes, and one of my favorite books that I read last year was Grip. Who wrote that book? I want to say it was Kennedy, Kennedy Ryan. And so it was actually a duology and it was like my favorite 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 and because of that I was really really influenced and inspired to write something music inspired and music based and I've always kind of wanted to write a book based and centered around music because music has been a huge influence on my life a huge inspiration and it's just something I've always wanted to do so when this story idea came to me I was so excited but then you know, I thought it would be like, I thought it would be like rock music or, you know, pop music or even like more singer songwriter stuff, even country. But rap music, that's the one genre I'm the least familiar with. I'm somewhat familiar with it, but it's my genre of least, you know, expertise. And it's the genre I listen to probably the least, although in more recent years I've been listening to it a lot more than other genres actually. But, um, so I was scared. I was terrified to write the story. You know, I didn't know what was going to happen, how it was going to unfold. But these characters just kept talking to me. These characters kept coming to me so strongly. And it was definitely a hip hop story and an ode to hip hop. So I started taking notes, but I never actually started writing the story. I started brainstorming and I just kind of left it at that. And I was still really scared to attempt it. I still didn't feel like I had the balls. So when I felt like I hit a dead end with this current story, Crush, with this current story, Crush, and when I just didn't know where to go and the male protagonist just felt really recycled and stale from other new adult romances and I didn't want to make it typical and I didn't want to make it predictable, I had honestly like a bolt lightning, a bolt of lightning of inspiration. And it was really encouraged by the fact that I opened up an Instagram just for my writing. So if you want to go check it out, it's called Oh She Writes Here, just like my blog. So I ended, opened up an Instagram account just for my writing and I was looking for content to post on there. And I found this voice memo and it simply just said, um, rap is poetry in motion with rhythm at the driver's seat. And I recorded that voice memo on the day that I got the idea for that story, that story that I haven't had the guts to start writing. And that was the day that I got the idea for it. And I just remember recording a voice memo. And I also remember that day really well because it was a beautiful day in March and I went on a walk with Teddy and I just felt the need to like record it, you know? And I recorded a voice memo and I recorded a video of that day just because it was so beautiful. The sky was so blue and I was so happy and I was so excited with the story idea. I just felt like I needed to record that moment. And so I actually have like evidence and video evidence, recording evidence and like memory of that day, of that moment. So basically I posted that on my <laughs> writing Instagram. Why do I? I'm so uncomfortable right now. I'm so sorry, guys. So I went ahead and I posted that on my writing Instagram. Once again, definitely go check it out and follow me. I don't have that many followers right now, so come help a girl out. And that is when inspiration struck. And I was like, oh my God, if I put these two story ideas together, this story is really going to pop off. And immediately I saw the story so much clearer, clearer, clearer. Immediately the male protagonist just became so much more real and vibrant and vital I immediately got his entire backstory because it was kind of like once I melded that story idea with crush The two the male protagonist from crush and the male protagonist from that story Came together and became one whole full person and it, they, it was fully realized as a character and it was amazing so I say all that to say I know it's day 15, but don't give up on your story. If you feel like you've hit a wall, if you feel like your story is stale, you're not quite sure where to go with it, things seem lopsided or incomplete, don't give up because you never know when inspiration is going to strike. Like I never knew that my answer to my issue and my problem was something that I already had. Like I had my own answer and it just took like certain life events and things unfolding in a certain way to have that answer be revealed and become clear to me which i think is so cool and it is often like that with writing writing is such a a solitary pursuit and it's so mental and as writers we have so many ideas and we have so many 
moments, you know, of clarity. And yet the moments are often separated in a way. Like I had a moment of clarity, clarity about that story idea, but it wasn't time yet because I had to have this story idea and crush in order for that story idea to become fully realized because the two were actually one. So I think there's definitely something to trusting your mind and going with your gut and trusting your process and just trusting that things will become clear in time and whatever issues you're having with your story, those issues will be resolved and they will be resolved by you. And you do have everything within you to resolve those issues. It's not necessarily something that you need to panic about, you know? And time sometimes is the greatest like solution because time produces the answer that you're looking for. So I just wanted to come on there, come on here and say that really quick. And yeah, I guess I will catch you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna try to get some writing in today, this evening. Um, I still am working on this blog piece. With my blog pieces, sometimes they're really hard to write because they come from such an honest place. Whether it's an autobiographical piece or not, there's always a kernel of such raw, vulnerable truth in these pieces that it almost is like terrifying to write them and it's very emotionally draining and emotionally taxing for me to write these blog pieces and I think that's why it takes me so long to write them and even now that I have come up with a schedule and ideally I would like to post twice a month I would like to post every second and fourth Saturday that means I'm gonna be writing a lot and that means I'm going to be producing a lot. But I kinda of wanna challenge myself and I wanna force myself into that emotional vulnerable place more often because I think that produces the best type of writing from me personally. I think when I'm emotionally honest and vulnerable and I really put myself out there, I think when I kinda of swallow that fear and just you know, barge bravely forth into the fire anyway, I think I come out like a freaking phoenix, y'all. I think I rise from the ashes and I produce some really, really amazing stuff. So that's kind of my goal. You know, one of my personal goals for 2018 was just to say yes to more things and to, to get outside of my comfort zone and to take more risks. And I think that that can only help my writing and my writing process. That can only make me a better writer. But anyways, I will catch you guys a little bit later, hopefully once I have gotten some writing in or while I am writing. And I hope everything is going well for y'all. And yeah, see you guys later. I have a lot going on. Teddy is choosing this moment to play, but I just wanted to come on here and wrap up the vlog. Um, this is the end of my Camp NaNoWriMo vlog. I am currently on page 50 of my story and I am loving it. Um, I'm so glad that you guys got to see my breakthrough being documented and the story has really opened up for me since then. My bed is a wreck, so don't judge me. My whole room is a wreck. I need to do some spring cleaning, but I won't have a day off of work until Monday the 30th. So that will have to be my cleaning day, but I digress. I'm glad you guys got to see my breakthrough and you know, the story's really opened up for me. Music is a huge influence on the story as is poetry and rap lyrics. And it's just really interesting. It's definitely an interesting experience that I've never ever been through before. So. I'm loving it. Uh, I never thought that I could write a rap song or rap lyrics, but I can. Cool. But yeah, so page 50, I am writing with Times New Roman font, 12 inches. I am 1.5 inch spacing. So not single spacing, not fully double spacing, 1.5 inch. And last I checked when I was at 40 three or 42 pages I was at a little over 13,000 words so I'm not 100% keeping track of my word count right now I just I'm keeping track of the pages it's just a little bit easier for me at this point sorry Teddy is literally attacking me because it's playtime don't worry guys he's getting groomed on Sunday I know he looks like a ragamuffin it's it's time um, it's actually going to be the first time that I will be grooming him in over a year um, I will be putting out a video on this really soon, but Teddy got really, really sick last summer. Actually, um, I took him into the vet on August 8th, I think, or August 7th of 2017, and he was diagnosed with IMHA, which is an autoimmune disease, and they basically gave him, like, days to weeks to live. It was horrifying. Um, so I definitely want to make a video. So thumbs up this video if you guys want to hear about 
my journey with him with that and how I got him well. It's something that I've been thinking about doing for a long time because I looked and there are no videos about it on YouTube and I found this forum on Facebook of all these people whose dogs died from the disease and just all I've been able to find are people whose dogs have died and there aren't enough videos about holistic methods of treatment and I just want to help someone out you know and save them from the trauma and the horrific you know journey that I had to go through to you know getting him back to health so if that interests you in any possible way I know that's really random to put on this channel but if that sounds like something that you would be interested in hearing and knowing more of thumbs up this video or just leave a comment um, if you know someone whose dog is suffering from an autoimmune disease um, or if you're a dog god forbid let me know but I don't know why I felt the need to say that but I just felt the need to say that but yeah anyways I'm wrapping up this vlog it will be going up tomorrow and I will see you guys next week for the rest of my Camp NaNoWriMo journey am I looking at you guys I don't know anymore so awkward all right bye oh and before I can <laughs> I can't talk and before I Oh my god. Okay, before I forget, there we go. You guys can put down in the comments suggestions for videos. I do have some videos that I want to film, but I also want to know, like, what do you guys want to see me do? Like, what types of videos? Just write some suggestions in the comments, and I will follow through. Alrighty. Bye. Bye, guys. So, if you watched my TBR video, then you know I want to watch, watch, read Tarzan. This is the copy that I decided to go with. I don't know how I feel about it, and I don't think it's the full story of Tarzan. I think this is just the origin story. I don't think he meets Jane in this story, which is disappointing. So if you guys have read this edition, which I doubt any of you have, let me know. What story does he meet Jane in? Because there are like five stories. Ugh, now I have to find, I have to track them all down. So annoying. Anyway, yep, just wanted to add that randomly. Also, I have a book review of this video coming up. Stay tuned. I know you guys want to know all my thoughts and honey I have a lot of them if I could lick a book and have it not be weird and strange and you know get all of my lip product on it or not get all of my lip product on it I would like this book I would literally like eat this book if I could I'm not really gonna quantify or clarify those statements you'll just have to stay tuned for the book review and see what I mean Another book that I will be reviewing, ah, how pretty, isn't it gorgeous? I'm so excited. Thumbs up this video if you wanna see me review this book. If you've never heard of it, this is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. And oh, I haven't started it yet, but I already know I'm gonna review it because this is one of the only books of its kind that has come through a major publishing house that I've seen anyway. So I'm all for this. I'm here for this. I'm here for this, okay? All the way here for it.